All systems go! Ignition. <laughs> What is that? Oh shit, what is that? It's a trap for you fight! I have four dogs in my backyard. I'm constantly pumping those dogs, man. <laughs> it's good to people are getting bummed up again because we've no idea of that. No idea of that. No idea of that. This is a democracy on the cold art radio. Three, two, one. Shoot. This is your cold art radio TV. We are. It's half five. Which means we are live with Colonel Mustard and the Dijon 5. I think we are live. John, Hi, can Mark. you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, this is our sound check. Cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm a wee bit lopsided. It's actually good. This is the album cover. I like it, mate. Lovely. Top mark. I don't... I couldn't... The way it was, I couldn't fit everyone in. There's a certain framing. I've not deliberately... Left people out. No, it's cool. You're all there. Off with our heads. There's a, yeah, there's a couple of heads missing. The difficult number two album. Aye. That's why you're here, isn't it? You're here. You're not here. To, you're not here to say hello. You're you're here to promote a new album. I'm here to promote a new album and an album launch. And an album launch. Yeah. And in, in, in these strange times, there is still going to be an album launch. First of all. Congratulations on your new uh, earphone thing. Cheers, mate. I, I got these especially for you because I know <laughs> the lawnmower sound that comes from my computer has kind of been the bane of your life. Was was that? Did you just get the bottom? Is that what, it, what the noise was? Ah, uh, yeah, it's the kind of motor or whatever thing that makes it go. But mm. I keep I've got, I, I pay a tenner insurance every month, and I've and there's a big crack in the screen. But I, it's one of the things I keep going. Ah, I'll need to go and see about that. I keep it's a good insurance. sound you've got out the the new one. It's a kind of call center meets McDonald's meets Madonna look as well, Aye, which is thank a you. good a good look. It's very 2021. I like pull the cups off, and it's got McFlurries. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the, the difficult number two album, how difficult has it been to make the difficult number two? Well, it, it's been seven years in the making, uh, so... That's not, that can't be right. Is it I, seven years since you've released the first album? Seven years since the first album, so Same. how how difficult must it be? <laughs> uh, the Stone Roses have split up twice and brought out albums <laughs> quicker than us, do you know what I mean? <laughs> do you know what? I was just actually, I was, today's been a day of anniversaries. Ten years since the Kelvin Grove Park riot. Um, right. Well, sorry, sorry, the Kelvin Grove Street Party. Yeah. The, Roy, the Royal Wedding. Were you at that one? No, no, I wasn't. Uh, I, I watched the scenes, though. I, I partly may wish, wished I was there. But I was... I, I it partly was, may was, also was... Like, glad I, you were safe away from it all. Aye, well, do you know, I've got a wee family, so you're not going to be in amongst the, a riot with the wings. Certainly, you, but this is 10 years ago. Did, was, the, was there a family 10 years Aye, ago? Aye, I think that's why I didn't attend, because we, John, was about, and Don, I think, was pregnant with Evie at the time, so right. it would have been selfish of me to riot. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have been, a, not like a selfless riot, you know what I mean? Like a, a selfish riot. It was a good day. It was. Um, it was. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll maybe keep my story about that day for the, for the autobiography if that ever happens. Aye. If I have the concentration to write it, but it was a. It was a. It was a great day in, in Glasgow's history, all because David Cameron said, "If you want to have a forget about the red tape, if you want to have a party for the royal wedding, then have a party for the royal wedding." Obviously, Glasgow's so far off his radar that he didn't realise what was going to happen. And we'll maybe look at some footage of that later on, but also, 
it's five years to the day, so there's something, it's a magical day. Five years to the day since I met this woman. Um, oh, was that town in, uh, before we got in the ferry? Uh, a, a Drossen, a Drossen. Harbour, I think. Aye. Yeah, we're getting Aye. the ferry to Aaron. So to five Aaron. years since Jock and Doris. And it was just, it was just funny because like, um, she just happened to be like, uh, where are you going? And it was just like, it's a wee festival. And Aaron's just like, oh, right, okay. What kind of bands are playing? And then, before she goes, I think she said, is Cull No Mustard playing? And I was like, aye. And she showed me, I think you can see there, there's a few stickers. Aye. I think, I think I've think i selected the Yellow Movement badge, but there's also a Cull No Mustard one. Next <laughs> And also, there was obviously no social distancing rules. Don't phone the police. You might have noticed that I have age. That was, um, it was still okay to hug random strangers. Aye. We didn't, didn't even ask if she, her hands were sanitised or nothing. Just, <laughs> just just went for it. In, in some ways, it, it's, it was better in those days that the hands <laughs> were unsanitised. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the natural immune, the immune system. We've got um, Mark McInnes in the house. We've got uh, Lou, Evening, oh, I forgot there was a half five show today, yeah, I nearly, did, I nearly forgot as well. Evening, Mandito is in the house, we've got Colin Sime in the house, Colin Sime, get on the, f- get, it's time, call that radio, Aye, get in, you know our phone on. number, call that radio, get in there. Uh, John sounds like an ears <laughs> traffic control, sounds great, no, it's a good sound, don't, don't listen to him. Roger, Roger, uh, good evening folks, Alan's in the house, we've got Gary Penders in the house. Alright lads. And we've got Jim Monin. The Yellow Movement should be standing in the election. One nation under a groove. You, Gav you, Mitchell you, actually described as as the Glasgow Parliament Funkadelic on the phone yesterday when he phoned me. I thought that's that's quite nice, mate. I might use that for the press. That is a good one, and you know that is a that's a big name. You know what I mean? In fact, aye, it's actually a, Gavin Mitchell is a. A name drop in it. The name drop. You call that radio. And uh, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> plenty more, plenty, <laughs> plenty more name drops in the tank. So the yeah, we also we seen I seen Gary comment in there, and he seemed to do a great job. Obviously, I was there briefly for the recording. Let, let's talk about the battle lines. Shouts to Gary and all the crew. Yeah. What is it all about? So basically, it's at the bars. Aye. Well, it was uh, just try to think of a way we could have an album launch that obviously we can't do it properly with a crowd, but do something special. And it's the centenary year of the bars market. So we thought, obviously, with our connections with the bars, we thought, let, let's incorporate that into a gig at the bars. We'll get dancers in, we'll get roller skaters in, we'll get dinosaurs in and try and generate as close to a gig atmosphere as we can and uh, get an all singing, all dancing production going. So, uh, But also give a wee nod to the history of the market and uh, particularly the, the Irish immigrants coming over and I think literally selling the clothes off their, their own backs at times and, you know, the start of what, what was market trading in Glasgow, uh, the immigrants coming off at the Brumelaw and, you know, selling whatever clothes they had. That's that's how it all started. And then Maggie McIver coming up for Goldston and Ayrshire and, you know, bringing up 10 wins, but starting this epic thing. And the Barris Ballroom actually started as a social club uh, for the workers because they got banned for the St Mungo's Hall down in uh, the Gorbals for being too rowdy with all the beer and whiskey they were drinking. So uh, I should, so that's how it started as a social club for the market traders. So it was nice to kind of tie that back in for the centenary year, but also just have like, a really good production. And uh, we were really lucky. We got funding from Creative Scotland and we got a, a cracking team in to kind of make it happen. But uh, it, was, it was a good couple of days. Couple of days filming. How uh, long is the actual show itself? The actual show we're going to put out on Saturdays, an hour and 15 minutes. So... It's the album in its entirety, and just one, one of the songs was that, for the is mark. That, was that is that in the actual ballroom? In the ballroom, aye. So it's mainly ballroom. We've got loads of footage, so other stuff will come out later, and we might just 
bring it all together and bring it out is one thing, but we wanted to film just as much as we could and, you know, make an event of it. But I think even an hour and 15 minutes for modern people's attention spans is probably pushing it, but we wanted to at least get the full album out there and, you know, in the the sequence that it goes on the actual album. Well, I know, I think hour and 15 minutes is fine. It, it's... Um... It seems like that's value for money. It's um, how much is it, and how do people get tickets for it? So it's fourteen pounds total. You won't pay anything more than that. You can get your tickets for dice. So just follow links on the band's Facebook or Twitter or whatever it is, and it will take you to Dice FM, I think, dot com, uh, and they're fourteen pounds, and you'll get a link half an hour before the stream's due to go up. Uh, and I that will take you to, I think, our YouTube where it will be, be streamed, but you need to kind of go via Dice to get into it. Right, well, what we'll actually do is we'll put the links in the comments so people can can go in to that link and, and, and sort themselves out. What Cheers, I'm mate. Is, what I'm just going to do is just play uh, the, the, I think it's the newest video, unless you've, I, I've been, my, I've not really been, I've been quite busy, so I'm not really paying attention. I feel like it's been the busiest week of all time. Uh, but the This Is Your House is the, the newest one, is that right? Aye, This Is Your House uh, came out last month. Uh, aye, I think last month. It's and a great video, man. It really, it's, and um, the, the best bit for me is the, um, the, the art, using the arches, which is a, was a great idea because it still just looks like the arches. Aye. Uh, I actually got the kind of sort of sweaty palms, uh, you know, we're going to get in or not. Aye. Um, a mixture of euphoria, excitement, and fear of rejection of getting ID'd or knocked back or something like that. Aye. I think I got maybe one or two knockbacks. I normally got in, but I, I, it, it just felt like that. It felt like standing in the queue and that feeling in your stomach when you were down there. It all came flooding back, but... Right, the genius that is Martin Windybank uh, directed this one, and we've got Sparkle Syndicate in it, but obviously the, the main guests are Aunt Thomas for Dope Sick Fly and Mary Keane, who is the best singer I've ever been on stage with. She's tremendous. The voice of the rave generation. Um, Aye. What? She, she, did a, she was on the show in January or whatever. She was brilliant on your Aye, show. Genuinely, genuinely Aye. brilliant, man. Probably one of the best shows we've ever had on. Um, absolutely amazing. In fact, she did do a You Call That Radio. She sung You Call That Radio. I, I need to edit that out for the, for the, the things. Aye. That, was, that was good but oh, yeah man, man it's, just, it's, it's an iconic voice an iconic voice we've also got another member of the Dijon 5 lining up in the green room uh, drinking all the red stripe so we'll, we better get this song on and then we'll bring on um, another member of Colin Mustard in the Dijon 5 but this is this is your house this is this is your house uh, <laughs> that's a great amount of this is this is uh, it's a brilliant video great tune check it out
want weirdo or do you want it? Okay. If you don't really know what's going on, there's a show that also doesn't know what's going on. Call that radio TV. You call that radio. Call that radio TV. You call that radio TV. As you call that radio TV, we are live with Colonel Mustard and the Dijon 5 ahead of their big album launch that's been filmed at the bar as you can watch on Saturday from Dice TV, the comments, the link will be going in the comments very soon. Also later on tonight, we have, a, it's two shows tonight, so at seven o'clock we'll be joined by Jim Morning, Mike Small, Fatima Ogun, Jonathan Shafi, and we'll be talking about democracy. What is it? Does it work? Can you fix it? All those kind of questions. And um, I've been enjoying the, you call that politics shows, Jim's been doing great as a host, and basically just try to keep it non-party political and just talk about ideas rather than fucking cheap shots, unless it's probably be a couple of cheap shots at Boris Johnson, I would imagine, though. I mean, it must be curtains for Boris this week. And we've got tomorrow night is um, a big one as well. It almost feels like his gigs are back. Not quite, though, but as close as a gig as you can get is tomorrow night. It's Jackal Trades, The Return. We had our first practice today since 2018. And our first gig tomorrow. Are we ready? Are we fucked? But I think we'll be alright. The Girl Cried Wolf's on at 7. Then it's us about 7.50. Then it's Dope Sick Fly. Then it's Loki and Becky. And it's Steg G Freestyle Master. So are I impressed in CCTV headlining. And um, all funds go to Refugee and Sonny Govan. For £8, you can just watch the live stream. For £10... You get an interactive ticket, which means you go on a wall of Zooms. You can dance along, and we can see, you can shout things at us, and we can hear it. And um, I think they're the only people in the world that have this kind of technology, apart from the world wrestling. They're not the Federation anymore. The WWE, what is the WWE now? Is that the World Wrestling Entertainment? World Wrestling Entertainment. So there's only two people in the world that have got that technology. It's the WWE and Room 2. <laughs> so I'm excited and terrified to be playing to the, the, the dystopian Black Mirror crowd tomorrow. Uh, get your tickets if you can. And then it's Saturday, it's Colin Mustard time. And then next week it's Stanley Oder doing a thing as well. Aye, uh, that Let's, looks good. That does look it, it looks good. They've also got a great name the last night in, which is what I was, you know, I was looking for. for a, I was going to do one more Capture Works gig. Right. Before, and, um, but they've, they've already got the best name, so there's no point. I think we've got... It's the inflatable disco Jesus. Inflatable <laughs> <laughs> disco Jesus tonight, Mark. Aye. Blasphemy. <laughs> disco <good>. blasphemy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that confidence. Jesus, Jesus did the light techno. He was in his metal. <laughs> well, um, comments coming in. Excellent tune and video. Can't wait for some mustard in Perth at Party in the Park. Is that still on? It looks as if Thanks it is at the out. moment. Aye. Cheers, Raymond Dito. Hope you're good, mate. Aye. Hi, Hopefully, fingers crossed. I think the later in the summer and early autumn, the better chance we've got, but we just need to wait and see. We need to wait and see. WWF is now just panda wrestling, I think. <laughs> yeah, they won, they won. That's why there's so many black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Rodison saying, great tune. John McCall saying, tune, go on yourselves. Cheers, Mark John. McInnes saying, always put a smile on my face. Cheers, Mark. John McKinley saying, digging it. First time I've heard it. Oh, nice June. one, John. This is Greg. Been looking forward to this, says Mr. Flibble. Hello, Mark. Hello, John. Uh, Hi, Greg. Jim Morning. It was so realistic, I got lifted outside of McSolly's and didn't even see it. <laughs> and Jim Morning, it was also said, uh, someone was asking, who did your hair? Greg, Greg Albert's asking, who did your hair, John? Done my hair myself when I came in, I just put a brush through it. It's lovely, it's lovely, John. Aye. Uh, Jim Morning says he got his hair off a Genesis album cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> that. No, no, take that, Genesis. Uh, we've got, um, so yeah, we've got lots of uh, comments coming in, lots of excitement about the album. I mean, you've been playing it a lot of these good. songs for, I mean, seven seven years, it's, it's, it's only been seven years since uh, you released it. It's been nine one. years if it was up to Colin, he was like, nah, uh, we've gone into it. Is he, one of, got, is he, is he the Robbie man. Gunn of Colonel Mustard? Oh, mate, he's like, nah, nah, it's not ready. We, not we, ready we, yet, we should it's wait. cool. We should we'll wait. wait till we're, we'll wait till we're 74 <laughs> year old and then we'll <laughs> the album. 
I'm going to counselling for it. I'm seeing something like <laughs> that. And, uh, are, you we'll going? Are, you ha- are you happy with it? Are you happy with it? It is really good. It is. It's uh, really well, that's, that's good of you to say that. Imagine, I was hoping you are going to come on the show and just pan the album. <laughs> Controversy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fresh. It's been uh, another two years it wasn't ready yet. There's quite a lot of songs on it, obviously, because you've been playing... Uh, but you've not, you know, for seven years, there's, there's going to be a lot of songs that people will recognise from the live shows, but is there also going to be songs that people have not heard? Or is it basically even, a greatest even, hits of the last seven years? Even the greatest hits, so we've kind of re worked them and they kind of they sound, they sound really, really polished and good. So people, even if they listen to the, the third the songs before, they'll still, they'll still enjoy hearing them on the, the album. Uh, it's new versions, even the yeah. songs that they've they've heard before. But I uh, we've brought some of the new ones out as singles, but there's still I think a couple that folk won't have heard. But the gaffer Gary John Kane for Button Up called that a greatest hits album. So, and in some ways, if we'd brought a second, we, we did have a second album worth of songs in between this one, but it probably would have been rubbish. <laughs> so it's quite, it's quite, it's quite good. Like we've actually got. What is a really it? What's good the most album. rubbish? What's the most rubbish song that you've done that didn't make the album? That, remember, that from that uh, era? Remember old folks disco. Oh, that's, that's what I was going to say. Eh? <laughs> I'm going <laughs> down Dude. to the old folks disco. So, get, <laughs> guys, you stop. Five. <laughs> I need to go, sorry, I just need to quickly grab my coffee because otherwise I'm going to fall asleep. It's been a long day. Two seconds. Mate, uh, no worries. That, 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 that turned on into a piece of mustard. Aye. Slack pause as the DJ talks bars. Slack pause as the DJ talks bars. Talks bars. Do, 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 do. I'm going down to the old folks' disco. I've probably got that on this computer somewhere. Aye. I liked the line. Aye, bl- ki- the line blue kill. rinse Monday. I think John <laughs> Hatt came up with that, though, when, when he was with his blue yeah. rinse Monday. <laughs> pass, on, pass on the money, man's. Aye. We've got Aye. Frank Hedges in the house. Oh, hi, yeah, Frank. How, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing, mate? Can he get, get down to Frank. Liverpool again, mate? Aye, I'd imagine we'd do that. That'd be brilliant. A sunny day in Liverpool. Mm-hmm. Well, you're probably more likely to get a gig down south. I mean, because Boris is just saying that it's all it's fine Aye. for the 21st of al- June. Al- al- although yeah. I saw Beat Herder cancelled today, so that was yeah, one I think, I think that maybe people are starting to sort of maybe starting to think that maybe Boris isn't always truthful. I don't want to say that, so, but maybe what he says is happening. That's out of order, that's out of order. Aye. Order, order. order. <laughs> Can't say that now. Aye. What was that, what, what was that, uh, the one uh, where he, the guy, the politician said, half of these, half of these Tories are crooks and they went order order take that remark back and he says sorry I'll take that back half of them are good honest politicians aye <laughs> Dennis Skinner aye brilliant uh, you just, big... it's a shame you don't get Labour guys like that anymore you need you need Labour folk that are going to actually tell the truth and be for, there for the working man but it's and women but it's so just you're, not became... of, you're not a fan of Starmer's whole idea of I think that Boris should investigate himself and, uh, <laughs> that, that kind of has got final say on whether he, he gets investigated. It's just corruption just at the made highest a, an, out, an outrageous con, uh, a big sniff in the background from Mark's coffee. Oh. Outrageous accusation. <laughs> I'll go for another one, two seconds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it like, yeah. uh, what are the wee coffees you get? Just espressos, eh? Espresso, aye. Espresso, aye. He's on the espresso. I don't know what the noise is. That's he must have a, a pet or something. <laughs> that sounds like my, my computer before I got my headset. I don't know where Mark is, but it sounds like a vibrator. Aye, what what other shit songs did we have for when before um, we made a an amazing album? Me and you had a couple of good ones that probably could have made the cut, but uh, there was Fruity Bye Bye. Fruity Bye Bye. Fruity Bye Bye. Fruity Bye Bye. Say goodbye to the fruit. Fruity Bye Bye. Sayonara strawberry. Peace out, pear. Aloha avocado. Fig farewell. Fruity Bye Bye. Fruity Bye Bye. Say goodbye <laughs> to the fruit. That, that's a good song, but that. Even you say it like that, even you say it like that, the album is brilliant. It is. Aye. <laughs> it could have been so much worse. Uh, well, there was another one like that. that oh, Fedoya. Oh, 
Fedoya. You say your words. If you say it enough, it becomes a word. Fedoya. 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 Aye, that sounds quite good. Aye, Fedoya didn't make the cut either. Well, we did talk about the last... The last time you were on here, the... Your, um... Your, uh, third worst... No, your... Third best... Christmas song. Aye. Santa Claus. <laughs> we had a wee chat about that last time. We did, the, we did. The I, the I starred in. Uh, well, you co-wrote it. I co-wrote it, I co-wrote it, but not my fi... Not my fi... Not my finest moment. To be fair, you'd had no sleep. <laughs> That's what Marcy's best let, one. <laughs> let the, tra- the trail of a party left him, let the guys that were left next to him at a party <laughs> with the fear in the morning, let <laughs> trips it along. <laughs> Come on. And you, and, you brought, and, you brought, and you brought your kids with E. coli. I brought my kids with E. coli. <laughs> it was like, of course. I wonder, what, right I wonder right. what went wrong with that song. <laughs> kind of, um, do you know what? There is, there, is, um, there is a market for it. It's a niche market. If you're a wrestling fan who's into supermarket sweep and Christmas songs, then oh. that might be the song you're looking for. But uh, I didn't, um, <laughs> didn't quite get the, the critical acclaim that we were hoping for. We've got the some comments coming in. Mark Calvert, the difficult number two is going to be massive, well done. It's what we've all been waiting for. Has it always been called the difficult number two, or has it changed a little bit? Cause it... I think it was sort of a working title because we're just, you know, we're a frustrating band at times. Like, on the face of it, it's all good times and fun and parties and... 90% of the time it is that, but internally when you've got 12 people, it can be difficult. <laughs> and I think for the word go, when I think even when we were like four years in, it was like, this is too long to bring out a second album. And I think at that point I came up with, right, well, let's call it the difficult number two. And the guys kind of laughed. And re- re- referring to jobbies. Aye, well, of course, yeah. the, and also it's got the word cult in it, which is... When did you come up with that? Because that seems like, I've just started noticing the the capitalisation of the word cult. Aye, that's, so that's only in the last year, aye. That, so you that, just like... Aye, I just feel, aye, that's a good, it's a good pun, isn't it? Uh, but aye, it, the longer it went on, the more, and I came up with other suggestions, like I think Festival Patter at one point, which I'd still like to do an album like that, but go and let record festival patter and have that in. But I think the guys and girls were just like, nah, that's rubbish. For the Jackal really Trades, that- Trip Hazard Advisor had the concept of going to a festival and asking everyone what their best bit of advice was. And I, I did it at Lindis Farm Festival. Went round recording everyone, everyone on different stages of their weekend. Some people high, some people low, and some people drunk, some people and other things. And I recorded all this amazing stuff, and then when I got home, I realised that uh, it was a new recorder, and I hadn't recorded any of it. I hadn't pressed a button. Oh, that it was nah. needed. So, <laughs> but you can actually hear it. It's called commercial advice. Uh, it's called commercial advice break. A uh, commercial ad- advice break. I think it's called something like. That. Right. It's on the album, but ended up it wasn't what it was meant to be. It was supposed to be festival part, but right. like you said, but it was more like just you know, a, my dad got a cameo and stuff in it. So right. it's still good, but it's just not what it was meant to be. We've got um, can you do the disco clap call, and I think that's for you. No, yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, that's it. That's it. We can go now. Uh, did you did you see yourself last night? That's to, to, uh, Thomas Thomas Adams who was on the show last night. I don't know if you caught any of the Secret Animal Garden party, but it was a really great show. Tom's a natural. And, uh, yeah, yeah, he was good we, There was some really good footage, and we got a couple of the, the Colin claps are in there. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, I missed me doing the claps. I didn't see that. But... No, well, that we, the, it was towards the end. I was like, I think before Cammy's set and before Martin Windybank's set, I thought he should be part of this. I mean, making <laughs> a dinner. You were eating your dinner. You were making, difficult... making my dinner, right? For, um, has anyone noticed that the new Talk Talk broadband ads jingle sounds like it's ripped off Cross the Road? I haven't. No. Can we play it? Where there's blame, there's a claim. Let's find it. Talk Talk Jingle 2021. 
this will probably, ironically, they'll put us off the internet for... <laughs> Aye, for copying. <laughs> for, copy, right, for copy, and they copied the song off of you. No, I don't. I, I, I just YouTubed it. I can't find it. Raymond, if you send me it, I'll play it at the end of the show, and we'll see. Um, the grand finale, I talk, talk <laughs> about. <laughs> Sponsored by Tom, you finally got sponsorship. Do you know, a talk talk would be quite, I suppose, like, because it's a podcast and there's, a, there's talking in it. Aye. But, but we would, I don't really believe in the sponsorship thing. We were funded purely by the... the you're powered by the patrons, and I think love. that's the best way to do it. Powered by love, Mark. I could, I mean, it'd be good to have a sponsor, you know, <coughs> it, would, it would help to have a sponsor, but I suppose it would need to be the right sponsor, wouldn't it? it would and who's going to right fat? Ah, who's going to l- 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it doesn't taste as like tropical as it used to. I was never a fan of never a fan Maybe of. just like a local business, like Coyas or something like that, or I don't know. Coyers yeah, allegedly Coyers got not bad, treating yeah. his staff. St- not allegedly yeah, not bad, treating yeah. his staff right. Allegedly, allegedly. I don't want to. I don't want to start. Um... Aye, I saw. I saw that. You just get another name in the digger, Mark. Another name in yeah. the digger. <laughs> it's like every Again. other restaurant. No, like every single KP I speak to, like it <laughs> goes through hell in their job. So I don't think it's different to any other restaurant in Glasgow that they all just shout at each other and. I don't know, I think maybe Chilinos and Amore have got, treat their staff with more respect if Aye. they're going to well, for an well, Italian and Denison. That's true, well Chilino would be a good one, I could maybe put you in, in put, touch. Put, put us in touch, put us in touch with Chilinos. And, I mean, I'd probably just do it for a BLT half of them. You know? Aye. Because, <laughs> a, a 12 month sponsorship deal for one BLT. A godfather um, bagel. Okay. For, uh, what we got here is the, sounds like a Mighty Bush song, says Gary Penders. Gary, Gary, Gary. I, I love the Mighty Bush. I still watch it. I let my kids watch it as well, which I probably shouldn't. But uh, it's not that bad, they, though, is it? Some of it is. It, I some of it is. They could do a watered down version of it for kids. But there's in every single episode, there's at least one bit you're like, oh, shouldn't I let the kids watch that? Mm-hmm. But so it's so questions. No, well, maybe, but it's more mm-hmm. just inappropriate. Some some of the bits, but. I think because it is so psychedelic and outlandish and almost like a kids' TV programme, it's just, aye, it's brilliant. Uh, Sue the fuckers, says Thomas. The next time I see it while I'm watching for the deal, rip the video. Okay, just admit to copyright theft right there, Mendito. <laughs> uh, some Lidl. <laughs> Lidl, well, I mean, Lidl have, their banter's been good this last aye, couple of weeks. No, that's okay. Aldi. That's, that's Aldi. It's Aldi. It's Aldi. So it's Aldi that's got, like, you'd maybe know more about it me because I don't really understand what's going on. It's a, it's a cake that Marks and Spencer's did. They seem to kids or something. What's going on with the Aldi? It's a Colin the Caterpillar cake. Funny enough. Colin the Caterpillar. And Flaming Disco Caterpillar, you should be calling yourself. My, my mum well, my mum gets me one every year. Oh. Colin the Caterpillar. The Aldi or uh, Marks and Spencer's? Marks and Spencer's. Well, in fact, it could be from one of the other ones. I just didn't know. She just calls it yeah, Colin the checked. Caterpillar. Got it for the bars. She might have done. She I noticed that Al Aldi slung a good insult at M and S because they've got it's like like a walnut whip, but they called it like a whippy walnut. <laughs> they're like, oh aye, like what about this? <laughs> <laughs> they also, I think they just ripped off the new Nike trainers as well, and the the, the logo was just done it. Uh, <laughs> uh, the eye so, blue ones. That was the blue one. I remember, yeah, that, I remember my uncle Jamie trying to buy me Nick's trainers in Airdrie Market that were like the kind of Nike rip off of the day and just like, no, and knowing I would get bullied if they, and he's like, no, they're the same as Nike, they're Nick's, they're Nick's. <laughs> yeah, I had a pair of Nick's as well. <laughs> Horrifying. Uh-huh. And also, the good thing about the bars was you got, you'd get your um, actual real brand names, it was maybe not the right, the real clothes. But as long as you, <laughs> as long as you had the real brand, it was, it was the real brand name. Well, the, uh, Kanye West just sold a pair of shoes for a million pound and is giving it to DMX family. I heard today, right. something like that. Really? Yeah. Um, how do you feel about uncredited images in the Daily Record? Says Martin Windybank. Now that's a very good point. It's never how happened do you to feel me, about that? It's never happened to me. I don't yeah. know, Martin. You're he's, he's probably the best one to ask. Get him on here, we'll answer that question. Martin, Martin, Martin's always, always welcome on this show. I'll send him the link, see if he's I saw, I saw that got posted today, mate, but I hadn't realised 
that you hadn't been credited, but we didn't even know that that one was coming. Uh, so, Get sorry. on here, man. Well, I mean, so, I'll apologise on the Daily Record's behalf. They, they sorry, do it. Don't, sorry, so we do it all the time. No, that, that's too good an apology. Well, we, we, we always say to them, look, go and make sure you credit, and they did be Lee Howell at the weekend, the Sunday Mail, to be fair. How does that help Martin Windy Bank? It doesn't, but no. was, <laughs> when we sent through... As long as Lee's all right, as long as uh, Lee's all right. But we always, because it always happens, so we always let make a point of saying it, but this one's obviously slipped through the net. But it's good publicity for us as well, so it's a it's a difficult one to balance because we don't want to give the daily record that too hard, but equally Martin deserves credit. He certainly does. Where credit's here's, due. Here's an answer, here's a question. Could you write Koya's a jingle with Fedoya? Koya. Fedoya, right? Koya. Sometimes you want an Italian that tastes like an Italian, even though you're not in Italy. Go to Koyas, to Koyas, to Koyas, to Koyas, to Koyas. Who treat their staff bad, allegedly? <laughs> <laughs> Read the small print. <laughs> Next, we've got um, Fedoya sounds like a rude word for female genitals. That may be what it is. Fudoya, a, a Fudoya, an insult. <laughs> uh, I meant it's a sponsor. Mark, I know you meant that as well. Lidl, Lidl or Aldi, I suppose. I don't have anything against them. They seem all right, don't they? I'm sure they're, they're bad as well. I, I don't know. That's but do you know what? Look, uh, going back to Martin's thing, it was online, I think, only that thing, so we probably could email them and go, going to put credit Martin Windebank. I'm sure that wouldn't... Go for it, I'll wait. Aye. I'll wait. Well, yeah, I can it. do it. Well, I've got I've got another <laughs> device here. I'm, like, I'm actually doing some internet shopping. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I mean, internet shopping. I'm gonna better deal with my gas. Everyone just assumes that you can internet shop these days because what, what, today we went down to Carolyn Studios and I had forgot my mask, and I was like, "How do I get a mask?" Because I was obviously wanting to get a, I was wanting to get a roll and a coffee and stuff as well. How do you get a mask? when you can't walk into a shop without a mask. I've seen and it. I, I, I was happen. absolutely stumped. I was just trying to think and I ended you up just that. thinking. I bet you that get a mask. It's a face covering. You don't need a mask or you need to do that. do that. You see folk doing that and... Oh, that... no, man. I'd cycled down there. I'd have been stinking. Aye. Yeah. And, it's and, your own but... sweat. It's my own sweat, I suppose. I or is but it? I, is it other people's sweat? <laughs> other, <laughs> hashtag other people's sweat. If you watch this on Twitter, no, but I, I suppose it, it just made me think of like you know the old jumping, like you know, guy gets a mask, mate, jump in for his gets a mask and ten club and a bottle of Meriden. That's just the 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 there the, the, the must be people that could make money with when the like an outdoor vendor that sells masks. Aye, that's a good idea. There's, there's like, probably... like hot... Colin came up with a hot dog stand idea Aye. recently, but if you had masks... Hot dog stands have been done before. Colin didn't come up with no, that idea. No, it's not that one. Wait, well, a hot dog stand that doesn't not, sell hot dogs? I don't want to talk about it on, on air. Aye, this uh, is too good. Different yeah. level. Dragon yeah, fucking legs. Talk Talk will steal your ideas. Aye. You see the Talk Talk hot dog stand. Well, if anybody wants to send me a message, you send me a message and we'll, we can talk about it. Because if I get one hot dog stand, and then... Don't say talk, dog talk, talk will sue you for talk, talking. Hot dog stand. And then we can all have hot dog stands and like a pyramid of hot dog stands. Nah, so it'll, be, it'll be good. It'll be good. Jim Morin, I got three genuine NAF NAF t shirts for a five at the bar at early 90s. They generally had the words NAF NAF printed on the t shirts. I remember, I, had a, I think I got a NAF NAF jacket or a NAF Co 54, was it? Aye. Benzini. I had a was, Benzini was, 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 jumper. Was one, was, so was one a real one? Wait, is one like was one meant to be good? I don't mean the name Naf for a start. Is fucking. Aye, I remember I Naf Naf, Naf, Naf was popular for about a year. Or so two. I think I had the fake Naf Naf. I had a Naf Co fifty four. Aye, a Naf A Naf Naf. Two for a pound says Malcolm. A mask vendor is a brilliant idea. Take it away. I, I'll just get as long as I get a cut. Stick with hot dogs. Free. Yeah, and, and we'll find about the hot dogs. Hot dogs and masks, what else What else can you need in 2021? We're going to play another tune just now. Sun cream. Tunes. Sun. We could be doing a bit of sun cream. Colin, you've, you've got the sun. I know, I've been, I've been enjoying it, man. It's been great. Yeah. 
Try well, I, I was, coast. well, I, actually, I was te- I've still not had my first beer outside, obviously, and it's been too busy a week to to do it. But I was like, when I came out of Carrollton Studios, I felt a wee bit better, you know. After that, you know, the band turned up for a start, which is always a good sign. And then we we we, we did okay, we did quite well in two hours, and practice, that's our only practice. We went to Carrollton Studios, of course, and yeah. then we and we just it felt good. I mean, obviously, we're still winging it, but I think it's going to be we've done enough for the. The thing, but I was just like when I came out, the sun was out, and I was just like, you know, driving, cycling by beer gardens, and I just thought I could have one. And then I thought, no, nah, man, I've got two shows tonight. I'm already shattered, so I'll no bother. And then just as I started cycling up, up, up the hill, it started pushing down the rain. So I felt good about that. <laughs> so I want, I want to have an actual beer in the sun. People All don't right. understand that. There's people coming All in right. the show going, "Why do you even give a fuck?" It's like, ah, you've got a garden. You know what I mean? Fuck it, having the time of your life in your garden, and you can't you can't even drink in a park in Glasgow. Well, you can, but you know, there's something liberating and just lovely about a nice beer in the sun. We mates just talking shit to each other in the sun, drinking beer. Yeah, yeah. I've actually wrote a song about it, but it's not been released yet. But it is out if you're a Patreon. You can hear it, and you can also hear the, the brand new single, March to March by Jackal Trains, which isn't out for another two weeks, but I put that up for the Patreon. So uh, Murphy Mish did a great job, conscious yeah. on the beat. So if you want to hear those songs, or you just want to, you just don't like Jackal Trains, but you just want to support the show, then you can do so by going here. Patreon.com forward slash you call that radio. It's, it's that expensive point of bringing out a new album as well, so I'm really skint, so it would be really appreciated. The album is nearly finished, and we will be premiering some of the new stuff tomorrow night on Immersive TV for raising money for Refugee and Sonny Govan. But we're going to play another Colin Muster. It's not all about me, it's all about Colin Muster today. There's a new album coming out. What will we play? Well, it's whether you want to do it in, in sequence. GT's the, the opener of the album, so maybe that's a good one to play. Another, another And it's another Martin Windebank. It Great is. job. We had a bit of help for Frankie Anderson and there was a couple of other animators and stuff involved in, in that one as well. He's, yeah. I've just checked the info. He's been credited for this one, which is good to see. <laughs> it's uh, it's, it's a, another great piece of work. Uh, G, GT, let us know in the comments what you make of this one. Take me away into 
educate our children to take their place in the economies of the 21st century, how do we do that? Given that we can't anticipate what the economy will look like at the end of next week. Every country on Earth, on Earth is trying to figure out how do we educate our children so they have a sense of cultural identity and so that we can pass on the cultural genes of our communities while being part of the process of globalization. How do you square that circle? You call that radio. Makes a coherent sense. Colin, what's the Dijon 5? Get your tickets for the Barry Show here. I've got what the... Is, <coughs> what is Dice FM? Why know. is everybody using Dice FM all of a sudden? Out of nowhere. Oh, I hear it's Dice FM, Dice FM. Who is Dice FM and what do they want? I think they're a kind of promotion company. They're oh, bigger and more well-known down in England. But I, the reason that I asked Jamie, our booking agent, to check them out is because I'd watched Soapy's uh, stream, the charity one that he'd done with the guys for James. And yes, it, I, I liked the fact that was. I, I liked the fact that it took uh, the viewers to the 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 kind of organisations on YouTube. So I thought that'd be quite cool. So that the orga- sorry, the, the organisation in YouTube. I don't know what you mean. The organisation. So that was what, what's the name? of everybody belongs here. Was was that the charity that done the, the thing? So we done. Try to remember. Yeah. Okay. Right. So the, so basically, so, I, so, basi- so you're so watching like, it on your YouTube channel. So you're I, getting the views. I totally and maybe new subscribers and traffic and stuff. And like people that. can't just copy the link. No, no. <clears> well, as far as I know, they can't. It was because you need to go via Dice and it takes you in a sort of back door to it. But that's cool. It's just like so. It's a bit. It's more than a. It's more than like a schedule, basically. Aye. A, there's a technological element to it as well. Aye, but also it's big, big good acts. Oh, thanks, we man, my son. So John, you went to the sound house back in the day and you had to chat the door. Certainly. That is exactly what it's like. like. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. What about the album? Is it going to? Is there going to be hard copies or is he going digital? No, there's hard there's... copies. We've got. Sorry, you answered me. I'll I'll drink tea. There's CDs. There's vinyl. Um, everything's looking really good. The vinyl looks brilliant. It's bright yellow. It's got the it's got the words, the lyrics on the inside of it, so it's quite good. I've been able to learn the lyrics. Something <laughs> really not. Uh, and uh, it looks great. Definitely does. And. With far as far as production goes, Colin, were you were you doing the were you producing the demos and then another producer records the album or how's what's what's the mechanics of recording the album? Well we kinda of record record we bits in the studio. You know, we've got a task cam thing like yourself, where you've got your zoom, we record things in there. And then yeah, we'll maybe have a listen to that and cut out bits through the jams and stuff that sound good and we'll maybe put some of it together and take a bit of one jam and put it into another jam and bring them together like that and then John comes up with some amazing lyrics finishes it off Fedoya 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 <laughs> 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 if in doubt you know have if in doubt just make up new words uh, I like it's actually quite difficult to do all the greats have done it I tried to write a song where it was just made up words but it's actually more difficult than you would think have you heard okay. Hubba Hubba Zoot Zoot by Karamba no. See the guys that done the Kiora advert back in the day, Kiora. Sure. Well, they they've got an amazing and there's a brilliant video. It's like almost like a manga style video. Hubba hubba zoot zoot. It was Roddy that put me onto it, but the actual tune and words, but it's all I think made up words, so it makes it even funnier. Got my favourite song of 2019 was DJ DJ 5s Mission of a Lifetime. The extra track in the GT single, I love GT too. Aye, that's a brilliant track. Aye. Uh, good on, aye. Cheers, Mark. And I think DJ5 really appreciates that so many folk have got into that. I think if we ever do a sort of oddities and, you know, extra songs that maybe, you know, haven't made the main albums, I think that will definitely be on it because it needs a wee bit more coverage. 
Danny yeah. says, heard March to March today. Love it. Look forward to hearing the album. Thank you, Danny. The Thanks, album. Danny. The album's actually going to be able to pre-order tomorrow. So that's that means you can actually that's there's going to be a couple of new songs on there. There's going to be the March to March for people who aren't a patron that want to hear the song. And there's also going to be Scottish album of the year, which has never been released before. That'll be on it. And Last Man Standing in the Edge of the World, which is already done, but ever, everything else is going to be new. I got... Th- oh, no, that was... A, don't, yeah. Can I just so, share a couple of things, Mark? Uh, you've got, I've, you can. I've, I've managed to track down the email of the guy for the Daily Record that put that article <laughs> out. So I'm going, to, I'm going to email him, Martin, for you. And also it was Greg that came up with Blue Rinse Monday. So it's a current <laughs> member of the band that came up with Blue Rinse Monday for old folk. <laughs> so, a couple of corrections there. Aye. We hope everyone's Aye. happy with A couple that. of retractions. Retractions. <laughs> Uh, great song and have to credit someone for the film says Danny hi says Mary Phillips hi Mary Phillips hi Mary Mary. how you doing thanks for joining us Uh, we've got we're we're, we're just about to wrap things up Mary so you've um, arrived but you can watch it all back but don't watch it all back now because coming up at 7 o'clock we've got you call that politics which has been that's the fourth part we've done and um, next week I think we're doing an election special and we've got some amazing guests from that, especially looking forward to speaking to some of the more fringe politicians next week. But it should be a good crack tonight. That's live here at 7 o'clock. I'll and, check um, it out. Oh, hold on, hold on. We have um, a, a, a new a new guest who's just come out. It's all, right, all right, all right, all right. How you get on? Is, is, it right, the, right, is, this, right. is this the outraged Martin Mundy Bank? Who is this UGC? Who is UGC? And I looked it up and it's like user generated content. And I was like, wait a minute, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what, what is that? Is it, user generated content? Is that just saying, yeah. oh, well, I don't know, I a user up. generated that yeah, and we're yeah. having it? I guess so. I, so. I, w- I wonder because you gave us the uh, pictures to potentially use for the Sunday Mail thing. If oh, that's just in, if that's just in their database. Oh, I see. Right, like, yeah. It's fair I'm game. That's what it is. But I'll no. I'm going to email them. Okay, yes. so, you know, I, I was just I was because you were talking about like copyright and all that. I was like, what is my chance? <laughs> <laughs> well, on that subject, I, know, I just I have a message, a message Blair. I was like. Blair, do you know how that uh, picture by any chance got uh, uh, put in the paper without a credit? <laughs> I had another credit issue the other week because I thought it was one from you that I used for another podcast, uh, and it wasn't. And uh, uh, I but it got sorted out. But it's, it's a, it's a minefield with you photographers. <laughs> 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 Uh, no. so, so that you... away, then? I'm all right. We're, right. Uh, we're doing the rehearsal for tomorrow's night show. Oh, cool. Are you you yeah, in yeah. the Jackal Trades? Jackal Band. Trades tomorrow night. Sounded amazing. So I hope That'll people great, tune yeah. into that. You know, obviously Blair's involved in that as well. And uh, yeah, so we're excited. Sounded uh, amazing. It's great to see Jess again as well and get back playing some, some guitar there. Like, oh, so. nice. Is Jess involved? Yeah. That's great. Mm-hmm. Back, electric uh, guitar man, electric pure, you know, it's cool. Yeah. So, that was it. Good fun, making some noise. Yeah. Uh, Saturday and, night, though, guys, man, the big show. Gavin Mitchell, yeah. Colonel Mustin, the Dijon Five, you know, in the bars, right. roller skaters, dance. Are we not allowed to say that? Is there, is there any? I know. Uh, I've already said that. Thank it's, you, boy, it's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be good. I can't, I can't, I, we did the secret animal on the Friday, and then I woke up on the Saturday, and I seen you were doing it. So I was like, do you need me? And Colin said, no. Nah. And then John <laughs> said, I actually do need you. I saw you in it. Because case, one, case yeah. one didn't turn up. So I, I got, I, got, I was a substitute verse in the market. And you were good, man. You're the video of you, but it's un- it didn't make the, the main kind of... No, it's great to know I, that because I obviously I, 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 I'd, exhausted, <laughs> yeah. I'd exhausted Mark with a hangover cycling down at the bar is yeah. waiting for yeah. about three hours for my, my um, one minute shot. <laughs> and then it just doesn't. It just on the cutting room floor. Yeah, oh, the right, the right the level day. of intensity like, of a, a guy that's you know been waiting. For <laughs> yeah, well, a, a, a hungry man, Aye. a very hungry man. I was just, I was starving because no, you said the set in half an hour. So I, I, I went straight doing. I went straight doing. in the market. I was. I had. I had planned a lasagna and everything, but I just went straight doing. I went the colonel need your colonel needs you, <laughs> so I went straight doing. 
and then everyone else was having lunch, and then I just waited for about, I don't know, an hour, but then you set up, and then it seemed to happen quite quickly, but then you just played the first song yeah, a few times, and I was like, I can't do this with every song, or I'm going to just need to leave. I, I but, but it was fine. It was going to be part of a thing that will never be seen by anyone, including seen, myself. It will be, it will be seen, seen. It's good. It's it's like, you see the thing I, I did with the note? Do you see what I did with the note? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like a magic man, trick. Pie, I don't, I don't give away surprises, right, but okay. I did a magic okay. trick. That's what happens when you've got a raging, hungry person in the corner. I was like, I had to come up with something. Right, it was beautiful. Something. It was like a bit of trickery. The ballet, I, I would describe it as barrel and ballet. It was good to be in the market as well because that side of the market, I've not been in there for a long time. Because obviously, I've, I've been at the, you know, the other room, the bit. There's obviously been Aye. that's usually where the record shop was, the miscellaneous shop was. <laughs> but Aye. to but the that that actual bit there. I mean, we're going back years. In fact. There's um, someone shared a meme the other day about posters. I think that's where they used to get the posters from. You know, the there was the take me to your dealer poster and aye. Like, there's still, like, the there's still the, some of the old posters up here, like Kylie and Jason and Samantha Fox and all that up the back. It's pretty cool, but I it's great because the Barrage Market reopens on Saturday as well, so. The timing's all really synchronous and it's uh, looking really good in there. Actually, I had a wee look through it because the other day and I was, I was, you know, it was just empty, but it was, it was so cool. Like it's really colourful and, and and yeah, it looks nice, man. Look forward to going there. I right, get down, support the barras during the day. Get yeah. to love love music by the Colonel Mustard album as well. Doing it down Bass Street. So when can people actually just go into a shop and buy it? So it's it's actually available in HMV apparently. Uh, so get into your local HMV. But if you're in Edinburgh and I think Dundee is it, it's Asai, uh, one of the indie stores in Solcoach, you can get it. But lo yeah. love music well, in Glasgow, and I think there'll be there'll be a Dijon Five presence at points over the weekend. I think David's maybe going to jump down tomorrow. Probably a couple of days on Saturday. I'll be down on Sunday, so. Hopefully, I and obviously you can buy it online and Apple, Amazon, all that. But the more I will find out what the pre sales on Apple are like, and it's always an exciting day when the album or record comes out. Uh, there's a big push. You just got it to number 55 last time, which is I, what did you call synchronicity? Uh, the fact that our gigs going out and we Syn are selling, yeah, but you used the word you didn't use synchronicity, you said it's syncing. Synchronicity. Did you use the word synchronicity? Synchronous. Synchronous, yeah. Synchronous. Which is which is slang. Which is slang for um, well. We've got I put the, the, the Dice FM link in the comments for people to because probably the best way to, to do this right now is for everybody to go to watch the show on Saturday and then go and buy the album. Whatever order you want to do it in. Go, you can go on to button up. <laughs> As well, and get the record. I'd pre order it now. Aye, it'd be nice to, the... if, if you know the songs, like, if you listen to it again and again, you know the songs, you can sing along. So buy it the morning. I'll wave the jersey, I'll be like that. Martin is best at promoting the gig. Yeah, look at that. Fucking hell, he's just giving an effort. He's got a barrel in picture behind him as well. This is your house. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> at least I made an effort as well. I had, I had to paint this today. <laughs> I can be in the director's cut, says Greg. Um, hello, Colin and Martin. That be short cut to longevity riff. Love it. Ah. And John, John McKinley's also apparently tracked down us playing Triangular Trades with Jess because we couldn't actually remember how, what she oh, was I playing. Oh, good. So there's actually a, a, another version that John another is singing over tonight. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's, it's different, but I think he's, he's actually filmed it at the Grand Old Opry, so it will oh. sound, it will sound, it. that gig, the gig, that, gig. Gig, that gig, day three of a tour, uh, and uh, yeah, it wasn't our, it wasn't our crowning oh, moment. I actually, I actually watched a wee bit of that last night, because I, I must have left a camera on a table or something filming it, <laughs> it's interesting. You know? yeah, it I was, think Joe, uh, Joe Bone played that, did he not? Joe Bone played it, it was a good night apart from it, just got weird, yeah. it just got really weird. And it was yeah. Sunday night, and I think everybody was just sitting down. Yeah, it was quite weird, yeah. It's a nice venue, I, I like that venue. It's, it's cool. 
the the line dancing version says Joe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think there was any line dancing when we came on. I think we ruined everyone's <laughs> evening. Um, the fiver trick on the day looked brilliant from behind you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that that was me trying. I was replaying it in my head. That was um, strange, strange. Um, I love and miss you guys, says Mark. And uh, love you too, Mark. Where is where is? Uh, Greg, why, what, Greg, why are you watching this and you didn't even come on the I show? Know, the he's over. Quite, I know, right? The <laughs> show's over. I can't, I can't be asked. I can't be asked. I'll just fucking make sarky comments at everybody that comes on the show. A troll. I'll just. Because he loves this. Because he loves this. I found, I found that eighties disco song. We should play that. Well, really how can I play that? How can we play that? I've sent you WhatsApp. You sent me WhatsApp. Ooh. Can't hear you, John. Oh. Okay, so let's just see. I should be able to download it from WhatsApp and upload it to Dropbox. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? No, 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 it's terrible. Ah, oh, I'm definitely doing it. No, it's very bad. Really, let's find it. Hey, John. Let's find I still can't hear John. <laughs> hey, no, do you know what? I can't because I've got, a, I've got, a new, my, my, I've got a new phone. It's everything's not synced up. What's that word again, John? Synchronicity. Yeah, I know synchronicity. Synchronized. The, the synchronicity. Oh, John's away. It's going to come back. Synchron, synchronous, synchronous. Right now, we, now we can talk about him. The, the Synch- synchronous, synchronous. Uh, Moon then says, "Greg, oh, there's John's back." Oh, okay. then, yeah. uh, we can't, we can't play that song. Do you yeah, know what? Yeah, but, but, but it was an idea that. Yeah, you yeah. That's an idea that someone will steal, because obviously people steal my ideas as well and implement them better than me. But one of the ideas for a show I was going to have was uh, my first song or my worst song, where we all just come on and we just play um, something that we, we we're a bit embarrassed about. But there's a, it's, um, I like <laughs> the idea of, I like the idea of it. We we just have a laugh at all this shit, because you can't just make classics like this is your house appear out of nowhere. Uh-huh. Speaking of stealing ideas, John, did you steal that idea from me? This is your house. No. No. Because it goes... <laughs> I had a song called... Wait there, no, but I had a song called The House. You I said, called, I stole country as fuck off you, but then you, you realised... I retracted that, you, that you, because I hadn't uh, released you hadn't it. it. Uh, yeah, aye. Uh, because I, had, I did have that. It was uh, Taking the Cunt, Taking the Cunt, <laughs> Taking the Country by Storm was my song. And I thought you'd stole it for country stuff, but then I realised that because I hadn't released it, there's no way you could have heard it. But we did. I did jam it at Dixon Street, and Colin had all sorts of recording equipment. So who knows? But I've given you the benefit of the doubt. I may have done this hard time. But Mike, this is Mike your house, right? Uh, okay, let's just put it this way. I had a song called a Jackal Train song called "The House That Jack," featuring Ant from Dope Sick Fly. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you have a song called This Is Your House well, and the whole joke was the house music thing and then you get the same guy song, Their song's not a joke and me and, <laughs> me, me, and <laughs> me and DJ5 had a song called This Used To Be My House which was about looking back at the arches but well, I that, didn't, are you trying to see I heard was, that? That was yeah, written that. before your album your Jack and Trades album and are, you, that's are, you what, of, are you accusing me of Bugging your phone and listening only, to DJ Five discussing this. Only if you retract your accusation will I retract mine. Well, we'll just fucking agree to disagree for now. <laughs> Put a pin in this, and we'll come back to this later. Um, J- Tam the Van says I was repping what the one-off green mustard and Kyle Five T-shirt. Cool man. Right, nice. The only oh, green oh, Colonel yeah. mustard top in the world. That's right. Aye. Why is that? Are you trying to stay away from um, sectarian violence by Not having much. greens and blues? Well, we're a, ye- people to yellow. we're a yellow band, but uh, I think that was a special request for me, Kyle. So David got that aye. made up for him. So, and I apparently loved it. So, hope you're well, Tam, and thoughts with you, mate. Yeah, absolutely. And if if, if for anyone that's aware of Tam and the Secret Animal Garden Party, we did an amazing show last night. Tam just absolutely knocked out the part last night. It was the co-host with the most, and we we, we had lots of live film from the garden including Loki, Becky, Joe, Martin Martin! Martin's a, a show stealer uh, he was, yeah. he was just stealing the oh. show That's we had uh, Texture, that. Dope Sick Fly, Kamehameha, Apocalypse Theorist and Colin claps every so often as well, oh, yeah. you can watch that on our YouTube channel Go to, you call that, uh, youtube.com forward slash you call that radio and you can see more of that 
Let's, uh, we're going to need to wrap up because I've got a show at eight. I can talk to you guys all night. Pleasure as always. People, go and, go and um, watch the show on Saturday. It's Colin and Mustard, the Dijon 5, live and from the Barrel. And buy the album album tomorrow. And buy the album tomorrow. Let's see if we can yeah. get Colin and Mustard into the charts. New t-shirts and, look good. And the t-shirts are looking good. Get the t-shirts. And if you can't wait till Saturday for a fix of live music, then you've got this tomorrow night. It's a return of Jackal Trades, full band. First rehearsal since 2018 today, and our first gig is tomorrow. Shit. But uh, the girl who cried wolf's on before that. Dope Sick Fly's on, Loki and Becky, and Steg G and all the trips as well. So I'm buzzing for it. You can be in the crowd. There's so much good stuff happening this weekend. I'm excited for it all. But we will see you for you call that politics. Not that one. That was last week. You call that politics at 7 o'clock with Jim, Mike, Fatima, and Jonathan talking about democracy. Have you, got the, have you got the Colonel Mustard graphic, just so I can see it. The, the, what, this? The one for the, the party. The one for the party. Yeah, I think you look at that. Oh, that's that. Is that? That's that. Nice. Oh, that's tonight, that's tonight. But what about the Saturday one? Have you got that? I might have that. I, I, I was just going to be, you're, hold on. Let's see. <laughs> it's good. It's, 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 it's no, 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 I've just, I just wanted to mm. see it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hold on, this is it, this is it, this is it. Uh, oh, no, no, no! Uh, no, 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 shut your eyes, shut your eyes. Yeah, this is the meme I was meaning, like, you're looking, half the, the posters, the posters were a, were a big part. A part used big to enjoy doing life. that, looking at all the posters. Yeah. And never buying any. No, well, I ended up having my, my whole room covered and the roof, mainly Beatles posters, but I had some good, good kind of signs for Glastonbury and Teen the Park and that as well. And we, we used to, if you went to the bars, if you jammed there, they would sometimes have the old posters for gigs if you went into the cloakroom and asked them. So you would and sometimes also, get some. Sometimes, if you're very lucky, you could get the audio cassette of people that played at the bar ones. Aye. As if by magic. Aye. There, there we go. That's the one. Beautiful. So you were Saturday, 1st of May. That's this Saturday, isn't it? It <laughs> is. <coming>. This Saturday <laughs> coming. <laughs> what time is it on it? At half seven, oh, seven thirty eh? p.m. Is it me? Uh, I, I thought it was. That's day. good because we've actually got we're 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 um, premiering. Sweet Sweet Rogue is uh, oh. premiering on um, Friday f- Saturday night at seven. So you can watch Sweet Rogue on this channel, and then that will get you in the mid for the the gig, the Barras gig on at half seven. I look forward to seeing it. Well, obviously it's great that I'm not yeah, bothered yeah. that I'm not in it it's fine <laughs> it's absolutely fine good luck with the gig lad says John McKinley thank Cheers, you John, John. for, for Cheers, tracking John. down that lost song as well I really appreciate that adios amigos but hanging on for the politics show amazing good to see you there Greg Bang, it's yeah. payday I'm buying it the day nice one I, it's not nothing payday uh, cheers John all good sure I saw it's you kicking paper. a ball in the park were you were you kicking a ball in the park me I I the other day I was well, neighbourhood watches on to you. Um, <laughs> all the way to Tam spotted you and just said, I should say hi. I can't even be asked. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you guys. Go and, go and buy the album, go and buy the merch, go and watch the show on Saturday. And we will see. Oh, we've got, we, we, finish, we can finish my song. Ted uh, Dancing, so- it's got to be. Oh, this. Map. this you know what? <laughs> Th- this who, song who, who, who's done in- this video again? Change my name. Change my name. It was my mum. This song has been stuck in my head all year, and it's I just got rid of it, and then it comes back again. But you know, it's actually quite. We tell you, it's quite funny. We obviously we went. We used played Capture Works gig, and um, obviously all of that, and um, you know it was a great night at the Capture Works gig. And, <laughs> and then oh, we watched it back, and we watched it all back. So that song would just seem to be stuck in my head for like um, a day or two, and then in the Monday, me and Tam took the all the equipment back to the the place that we borrowed it from, Pro Sound, and it came on as if by magic on Sonny Govan radio. Ted sure, Danson. Yeah. The song was falling as a bit. Uh-huh. So yeah, it's a great video, Martin. Was, explain the process. I think this was, was this in lockdown at all? Was, yes, uh, this was definitely I, lockdown. I like made up, but then there was a socially distanced gig for Belladrum, so we had a kind of like a uh, bit of green screen cloth and just put it in Greg's back garden and like just we had a wee moment of like everybody just doing a wee dance in front of the green screen and then I just made what I could out of it. Um, probably like the longest video I've ever made in my life. <laughs> I know. So I ended up uh, using all this footage, dancing footage of uh, 
across time. You know, I think people sent in wee videos. It's just like a, it's a patchwork of of dancing. A tapestry and of dancing. A tapestry. A tapestry. <laughs> is it also worth... Is there still a campaign to a tweet dancing. at Ted Dancing as well? Are we, are we giving uh, up on that? Or are we still going to be tweet... Should we tweet this song to Ted Dancing on Twitter? And yeah, yeah. Aye. Just, yeah, let's do it again. Again. I'll put Ted Dancing's at sign in the comments. I'll find that while the song's playing. And let's get Ted Dancing... And let's get that new corner mustard. Um, thank you very much, guys. Uh, Thanks, Mark. Peace, love, mustard. Why do we dance? Why do we dance? Socially, precociously. Copiously, knowingly, emotionally, wholesomely, globally, uncontrollably, uncontrollably, unashamedly, unregrettably, undeniably, most definitely, global poetry, global poetry, before we charge into battle.
You call that radio, radio, radio. More like a TV show, TV show, TV show. On almost every night, every night, every night. It's gonna be strange.